Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 amazing iPhone apps that I believe every iPhone user must have on their device that you probably never heard of. These are apps that are actually not that popular but are really really great and will help you do a lot more with your device on a daily basis. Before we get started with the first app, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are not yet subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps out a lot. And we're starting things off with Clock. Now on iOS 16, you know that you can hide photos with the Photos app. But can you hide the Photos app and any other app you want? No, but you can do that with this app. You simply tap here and you choose the apps you want to hide. So let's go with social here. So let's choose something like Facebook, Instagram, Messenger maybe. So let's just get out of here. You can see we have the apps on the home screen and then tap the dump button and we're good to go. Tap the hide button and right here we have these apps hidden. Now we can also protect that app with a passcode or face ID which means that nobody will be able to actually access the app and unlock our apps. You can see not only it has this, it also has safe zones, which is a feature that will basically lock and unlock the apps automatically based on the locations that you choose. The next app for the video is called Screenshot. It allows us to take full screenshots of full web pages. Well, you can do that with Safari on iOS, but it will be saved as a PDF file, not as an image. Well, with this app installed, all you have to do is go to Safari and just go to the web page where you want to take the screenshot, tap the share button, and right here we'll have the screenshot button. Tap right there, tap on where it says full page, and choose the size. We go with actual size, and just like this, we have now a screenshot of this full web page like this. So tap on OK here, and now it will open into the app. So here we have it, we're good to go. Again, all we have to do here is tap on where it says full page. It will now load the screenshot and we can also mark it up with all kinds of different markup tools that this app offers. And once you're done with that, as you can see, we have a full screenshot here. You tap that button and you're good to go. Now you have it saved under your camera roll. Now this right here is probably one of my favorite apps from this list. It is called Temporary Email. How many times you have to give your personal email out and you don't want to do that, you will basically get scammed by a lot of different websites and marketing tools sending you all kinds of different emails. Well, if you need an email, a temporary email, you use this app. You can just tap on random and it will generate an email for you. You can copy this email and give it out. You will also have your mailbox. So all the emails to get to that random email will be right here. Of course, you can choose your own as well. You tap right there. You can input the name you want and you will have all kinds of different domains here that you can choose and generate a random email for you. Or again, just tap on random and you can have a new email at any time that you need. Toolbox by Paperclip is up next. It offers a ton of different tools within an app. You will probably need like 20 to 30 apps to do the things that you can do with this one app. Here we have photo tools, convert, compress, live photos to MP4. We have gift tools here, video tools, audio tools, PDFs, and you also have tools for your files. You can unzip and archive files from here. So you can convert audio, convert PDFs, extract photos from videos, extract audio from videos and do all kinds of things. So let's try out here. Let's try one of these tools. So let's convert a PDF. So we have selected here a few images and we can now tap start. And as you can see right now, we have here a PDF file. So it will basically convert the images to a PDF file. Once you're done with that, tap on the share button, save it anywhere you want, and you're good to go. Here's another very useful app. It is called Wi-Fi QR Codes, and it allows you to set up QR codes for your Wi-Fi networks. Whether you're doing that for your home or your work, you can have all kinds of different QR codes with the name and the passcode of certain Wi-Fi networks. So anytime I want to share my home network with someone, just go here, show them this QR code, which I can also, of course, save to the photo library if I want to. And just like that, I can share the network without having to give out the passcode. Of course, you tap the plus button here, and here's where you can create new QR codes for new networks. It's very simple to use. 
just enter the name the wi-fi name here the wi-fi passcode you're good to go you will have it on the list and of course you can even edit these so if you just change something about your wi-fi network maybe the name or the passcode you can always tap on edit here and edit all the details Duogram is the next app for the video. Now this app offers a feature that I believe should be default on iOS. The ability to take videos or pictures with the front facing camera and with the rear camera at the same time. You can see how good this app is. The interface is very simple and very easy to use. You will have the rear camera, the front facing camera up there. You can change the layout here, you can change that shape. You can move it around and of course even go half and half here which is really cool you will have your usual camera controls you can take pictures of course here and you can also record a video you have the zoom and the flashlight right there so very very easy to use and very convenient anytime you want to take a video still have maybe a reaction there or anything you want on the front facing camera you can do that pretty easily with this app the next app for the video is vellum now vellum has been around for quite some time but i find this app to be not that popular at all even though it's a pretty good app and i have been using it for quite some time it is an app that will offer wallpapers for your device and actually the wallpapers are really really good are very selected and the quality is amazing so here's where you will have the home screen of the app so you will have a daily wallpaper there every day you will see a new wallpaper you have here the best of 2022 and then you will have here sections for all kinds of different collections and different artists from where you can get your wallpapers so all you have to do of course choose the one you want to use and from here just select the wallpaper that you want to download so once you tap on one of the wallpapers you can go ahead and add a blur to the wallpaper if you want to you can actually see how it looks on your home screen or lock screen and once you're done with that you tap this little button and download the wallpaper to your device the next app for the video is called privacy report so you know on ios we have a security feature called privacy report where it will show everything that has been using the sensors and the internet on your device like the camera the microphone and everything else well that feature can be found here under settings privacy and security and you go to app privacy reports and you will see some details here but what you can do here is head on to this section tap the little share button and add this report to the app which means that then you will see way more details so what we got to do here is just go ahead and find here app privacy report right here tap on there and then tap this little button and you will see now the report on here so you can see everything that has been using everything on your device so you have the reports here so if i go to camera you can see it shows everything that the camera has been using no domains have been used go to privacy it has used the photos the camera and the microphone and then we also have the logs here with the exact times and dates of course when any app has used anything on my device this is really really amazing if you care about the security of your data you should go ahead and check out this app it's pretty useful Waller AI is the next app for the video. This app allows you to ask questions and get genuine answers for everything you want. Not just like web results from Google, but actual answers that make sense and that are pretty good. So let's just ask the app something. As you can see right here, I did ask the question, the highest score in NBA history. And you can see here the answer, how good it is. So the highest score in NBA history, Detroit Pistons, Denver Nuggets, December 13th, 83 combined for 370 points. And you can get basically a detailed answer on anything you ask for, which is really amazing. Next up is an app called Up Ahead. Now Up Ahead allows you to set up different dates, of course, for the event that are upcoming so you can see right here what I like about this is that if you have something like this like I have two events here it will also show you this little number right there which indicates the days between those two events and it has awesome widgets for your home screen and it's pretty easy to use you just tap there you add any event you want you can see it's pretty customizable you can add any kinds of like different icons of course you tap on more you have a lot here different colors and of course create some really really nice events for your dates and everything that's important you can see the timeline here just looks amazing 
So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, subscribe for more if you did. Don't forget to leave a like on this one. And I'll see you on the next video.